Hi, welcome back to my second workshop. This workshop moves on from the ABC drawing and shows you how to look at your two-dimensional sketch, like the one we did in the ABC drawing, and turn that into a three-dimensional model, something that could work on the stage. For this workshop, all you'll need is a couple of pieces of paper. I'm using some normal printer paper some easy cut card, cereal box card is brilliant for this, your scissors and a glue stick and some sticky tape. You will also need a drawing of a landscape. The one I'm using is the one we produced in the ABC workshop. If you haven't looked at that yet, do have a look because I think you'll enjoy it. But if you don't have time for that at the moment, a drawing that you've created would be perfect. Let's get everything ready and we can get started. So when we're designing for the theatre, we need to think about the theatre having depth as well as just a flat surface as our picture. So if the theatre has depth, we need something for our actors to walk on. We need to think what's going to be in front and behind our actors as well. So we need to think of our pictures with different elements of composition. The composition just means what is in our picture, our shapes, our colours, our objects. And the composition is made up of things in the back, which is called the background, things in the middle of our picture, the midground, and things in the front of our picture, our foreground. As designers, the foreground is the thing you're going to step onto first, if you're right at the front of the stage. In our foreground of this picture, we've got our sand and our little stream running into the sea. If we were actors on this scene and we were walking into the picture, we would then get to our middle section or our midground. In our middle section here, we've got our waves, and we've got a boat going through. If we were able to fly over those waves like our birds, we would get to the back of the stage or the background of the picture. Right at the back of our picture, we've got the sky, the hills and our trees. We've also got a spaceship flying through our picture, so it's a bit difficult to say whether that's in the foreground, the midground or the background because it could move. So these are going to be the important sections we're going to look at next and how we make them come to life from a drawing to a theatre design. which sections in my picture are the background, the midground and the foreground. I now need to recreate those sections so that I can cut them out individually. One easy way I'm going to show you to do that is using a window tracing. So I've got my picture just taped using my masking tape to my studio window. I'm going to put a new piece of paper over my original and just put a little bit of tape there to keep it in place. And now I can see clearly the lines as the sun shines through the window. along this line to create two different sections. My boat will be behind my waves so I'm going to take a new picture for that. So because my boat is going to go behind the waves I need to continue this boat line down 
to the bottom where our stage floor is going to be, to here. So our boat shape is going to go behind the waves. On this piece, I've got space here to also draw the hill. And again, that's going behind the waves. So I'm going to extend the hill line down to the bottom of the sand because the sand is going to be our stage floor and the hill needs to come up from the stage floor. The sea, remember, will hide the bottom of the hill so we don't need to worry about redrawing that. <laughs> So now we've got all our sections we need traced out to start building our model. All your objects need to go all the way down to the stage floor, even if they've got something in front of them. Our models need to be able to stand on the floor like this. At this stage, add your colour because it's nice and flat and it'll be much easier to do it now. sections all coloured I'm ready to start cutting them out and putting my model together. Don't worry if you've gone out of the lines a little bit because you're going to cut away this extra paper. Now I'm ready to put my model together. Because it needs to stand up and be a little bit stronger, I'm going to stick this down to some cereal box card. I use the cereal box card because it's really easy to cut. stand up. I'm going to cut a strip of the cereal card. Make sure that it's not taller than your model because otherwise you'll see this over the top. I'm going to cut it and fold it. I'm then going to stick it on the bottom of my set piece. Sometimes you might need to stick it on the front as well as the back where I'm doing it. Fold your tab over and your set piece should stand up. If your model is falling over a little bit, like mine is a little bit here, just trim the back of your tab until it wants to stand up like that. So that piece is ready to go. On some of these longer pieces, like the C here, I'm going to put two tabs, one at either side. <music> to complete your design, take a piece of card and fold the bottom to create a back and a floor for your set design. Cut two additional pieces of card into triangles and fix to the back and to the floor of your design on both sides. 
colour in the background with something that suits your design. You could have some clouds in the sky, some birds flying for example. Then all you need to do is start adding your scenery to complete your design. So now you've made your theatre model set. Perhaps you could use it to tell some of your own stories. What might happen next in the scene? I've created some extra pieces here and perhaps you could get some sections to fly in or perhaps you could create some characters that could come and walk on your stage. You could also design a front section and perhaps put on your play at the Princess Theatre. We'd love to see your designs. Do take some pictures and send them in to us. Take care and keep a lookout for the next workshop. Bye.